guys regarding gppmaster.com and membership and addition of potential some sports like NBA coming up. But in the meantime, we got football, we got weeks to go, and we got money to be made right through, right through the championship games. And we'll come back to that. But last week, we're just going to move on. That was a dud. Uh, after four just scorching hot weeks in this video, last week, the Brandon Cooks, Amari Cooper, just, wow, zero points and zero targets for Cooks and single digits for Cooper. It just did not work out. Sometimes that happens. But this is an exciting week 13 because we have a millionaire maker and we actually have two qualifiers, both with th uh, a $20 with three spots open and a $4 with two spots open for the DraftKings $10 million NFL World Championship. This is the final week. So great opportunity to qualify. It's a blast. You can win some huge money. As you know, I've been to the NBA championships and looking to get back. On to week 13. So as always, we start with our quarterbacks. And this is a little bit of a pared down week. And it's going to be a little top heavy for me. Um, I love Drew Brees at home. I always love Drew Brees at home. Uh, on the, you know, in the dome. I love him versus the Lions, who have a decent, you know, middle of the pack, 14th ranked pass defense. So they're not terrible. They're a good team. You know, they're the Lions, so they'll ultimately fall apart. But over under in that game is teetering between 54 and 53 and a half. A lot of points are expected to be scored. And Brees should put up another game of significance. So the question is going to be, you know, last week I was on Brandon Cooks and Michael Thomas obviously was the stud. Brandon Coleman scored a couple. Michael Thomas is just a beast, obviously. But I'm going back to the well with Cooks. Um, I hate to say it. I'm going back with him again. We'll come back to that at wide receiver and what he's done at home. But I love the guy at home. So, But anyway, love Drew Brees. Let's move on to the next quarterback. So Matt Ryan versus, again, a 20th pass defense of Kansas City. Kansas City's defense is overrated and banged up. Uh, Ryan only 6,800. That's a pretty big drop off from Breeze. And he's got some nice stacks for him, obviously. Uh, and a 49 and a half over under. So I like Breeze. I like Ryan. Uh, again, I'm going to say it and continue to say it. If Brady plays, obviously check back with us Sunday morning. It looks like he is going to play in this game. I'm pretty confident with that comment. I actually like Jimmy if he doesn't, but Brady's going to play. 7,500 um, 7, bucks. Look, you like Brady at home. A, a, with or without Gronk, honestly, you like Brady until Brady proves you wrong. Now, this could be a game that the Patriots get up big and run it down the Rams' throat with Blount or with Lewis. But I still see Brady throwing three or four touchdowns in this game to targets not named Gronk. Um, so that's number three. I do like Big Ben because I think that Giants game worries me. Pittsburgh weather this time of year, 7400 is a lot of money. The Giants are the 24th ranked pass defense. It's tough to run on them. And, you know, I do think with Zeke Elliott already played and DeMarco on a bye week, you're going to see a lot of people go with Le'Veon. And this may be a week, even though he's expensive, to be able to pick up Ben and Antonio together and have a lower ownership. And I do think, again, a 48 over under. Game worries me a little bit more than, say, the Saints and the Falcons, but I do like Ben in that game. Uh, and then my f next uh, guy is Derek Carr. Got to keep an eye on his finger, but he says he's fine. Uh, he threw pretty well last week after he injured it. Um, fourth passing offense versus the eighth passing defense of Buffalo, but at Oakland, the team's hot. And again, like last week, I'm coming back to the Amari Cooper well this week, which we'll get to at receiver. Um, got to kind of like Stafford. I mean, Stafford, you know, is a flyer. Uh, I like him better than Alex Smith. So on the other side of both of those games, so the 53.5 over under Saints-Lions and the 49.5 over under Chiefs-Falcons, I tend to like Stafford better if I'm going to go with a, a high flyer at that game versus Alex Smith. I mean, the Saints are, are absolutely atrocious against the pass, 27th pass defense. So... You could take Stafford and stack him up there as a flyer, probably more than Smith. I'd rather see you play as Chiefs receiver and leave Smith out and fade him. And then, you know, the other interesting one is Kirk Cousins. The guy is, you know, just absolutely on fire. 30-plus points potential every week. Arizona, 
obviously has a really good pass defense. Number two, but they're banged up. Keep an eye on that. If Patrick Peterson's out, I really like that game. So again, if Patrick Peterson is out, I'm using Cousins in a lineup, probably with Crowder. Um, again, that total of 49 and a half. So Vegas thinks they're going to score in that game. And Cousins is just too hot. Even without Jordan Reed, you know, he may or may not play. There's a lot of iffiness on Washington. So I love Breeze. I love Ryan. I like Ben. I like Brady. And then Flyers, Carr, Stafford, Cousins. Um, moving on the running back. So this is a shorter slate for me this week. Um, on the high end, I love Melvin Gordon. I love Melvin Gordon this week. Okay. 22nd rushing defense at home. Tampa has a 22nd running defense, rushing defense. He's a little cheaper than, you know, David Johnson or Le'Veon at 7,200. I think he has two touchdowns in this game, 100 plus yards. Love him in this game. He's had a couple off weeks, so his ownership will be down. Love Melvin Gordon in this game. Jordan Howard may be the chalk, 6,900 bucks. He may not be because the Bears are the Bears and they're a mess injury wise and football wise. But San Francisco, we've said this as a theme here, they literally are a high school rushing defense. And you're talking about a guy getting the ball 15, 18, 20 times a week. And Howard has shown explosiveness at home against a rushing defense that is just so bad that even if they stack it because they don't worry about Barkley playing quarterback, against uh, Howard, I don't think it matters. So I do like Jordan Howard, although he may be the chop. Uh, I like McCoy. Again, expensive. You probably have to choose between Gordon and McCoy. Uh, 7,800 versus the 26 rushing defense of the Raiders. Shady seems healthier again. Again, he's always one hit from an injury, and that's a killer, so you can't put him in all your lineups. But he's, you know, like Gordon, he's just been on fire and probably has a touchdown and a long one in this game. Um... So a couple sleepers. I like Carlos Hyde a lot against the Bears. Hyde had a good week last week. He was one of my few good picks last week in this video. Bears are a 17th rushing defense, and he's just going to get the ball. Uh, going to get the ball often. Uh, Atlanta. So I think that is going to be a passing game and a shootout. But Kansas City also weaker against the run than people think. So you may be able to pick up. That's one of those coin flips. Is it Coleman? Is it... Freeman, they're both great. They split. If I had to go to one, I'd go to Freeman at 6,100. But Coleman is a cheap play to fit in with, say, Gordon or McCoy at 4,300 is a really good bet because he's one touch away, one pass away from taking it to the house every time. Uh, and then bringing me to the Patriots, I'm going to fade James White this weekend, which I haven't done in the past, as you know. And I'm either going to look at Blount at 5,500 because this could be a 100-plus yard Blount game. This could be a game that's over in the mid-third quarter and the Patriots are handing the ball off and Blount's just wearing down the Rams who are in the cold weather, traveled seven hours and quit. And if you quit defensively and you're playing with Garrett Blount, he's going to put up 130 yards and two touchdowns on you. And look, the guy has 12 or whatever, 13 touchdowns. So he's still a touchdown machine this season. And he's pretty cheap at 5,500. And lastly, um, Deion Lewis, same thing, 3,800. Lewis is getting the ball inside the five if it's not Blount. Uh, that's pretty clear. It's not James White, and you know if it's a running throwing situation. So I do like that there as well. Uh, those are the running backs. Um, 